hello everyone today we are going to work on this attack type so as you can see here uh, two swords appear sides of the enemy and it starts rotating and if I try to get closer move closer to the enemy uh, will be thrown away by hitting on that swords so yeah let's see how to implement this attack today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support so this is what we have at the moment so we, are, we worked on two different attack types uh, the last time we implemented this uh, throwing swords attack now let's implement the spinning swords attack i call it chakra and in the boss attack i'm gonna disconnect this for now for testing and uh, let's create go to blueprint sorry boss and create a child class from this attack base let's call it attack Chakra means circle in my language. I think it has kind of the same meaning in few other languages as well. Uh, my language is Sinhala by the way. Um, yeah, so we are going to make this like a spin two swords around the character, around the boss. And if we go into that area, we will be, we will hit by the sword that's what we are trying to do here okay so we need two swords and it should uh, rotate around the player right so let me first remove this offset and add, uh, rotation like this and let's get, give it offset minus 300 not minus 400 okay, this should be enough and duplicate both of these the collider and the sword control w right now this one duplicate it twice seems so okay this one should be minus sorry plus 400 this time minus no 180 okay now we have two swords around the character right and uh, now in the parent class we have this in here this uh, fade sword we are fading in only one sword here but here we have two swords so we need to make both swords fade in so what can we do about that and also when we fade out as well we need to fade out both swords right let's define a function convert this to function update 
load area and here let's promote this parameter name as a parameter of the function so here I have to use mask and when we fade out here we can use the same function this should be alpha threshold and we don't need this node okay and now here let me copy the definition of this function here and uh, not the definition the implementation then let's go to the chakra and here override update sword material right let me paste not just the sword one I have to as an input give the sword sword and sword one both now this will update the materials of both swords right uh, now let me place this uh, here so that we can test it uh, no let's spawn it just like we spawn this other attacks spawn actor from class chakra and let's charge it once spawned and have a delay and continue the same so as the spawn transform let's use get actor location We don't need a delay here and let's always spawn ignore collisions right let's see okay the two swords appear uh, right now we have to override the launch attack in order to make it rotate right so let's override the in here let's override launch attack function sorry launch attack event not here in the event graph on the attack base this is what we have in the end we call fade out right so here Let's set attack in to true and have a delay of let's say six seconds and set attack in to false 
and then finally let's call fade out right and now here uh, in the event tick now we need to rotate spin the sword so if we are attacking we can rotate the swords like this let's set that uh, rotation so we need to incrementally rotate this so get at uh, rotation here we only need to rotate it around the Z axis uh, we don't need any other rotation so let's add how fast this should be how fast it rotates based on this value we enter here so I'm going to use 20 and connect to the yo right and this rotation will happen only if I am attacking right now let's check oh it doesn't rotate why all right uh, in the parentic we have a part where we keep the swords uh, aligned to the player it should be here this part so we have to disable this parent tick part from the tick so yeah now it should work see now it is rotating and if I try to go there I get hit by it and move away okay um, actually we don't need this extra collider here because since this is rotating very fast it is highly likely that even if I don't have a collider here I will get hit by this uh, other collider so we don't really need another collider for this one uh, I think it would look cool um, if we make these swords move away from the character as it rotates so we can do it here um, let's make the initial distance is 350 for both swords minus 350 and here let's get rid of this let's get the sword one call mode component two mm, initially this oh this is sword one says 0 350 0 rotation is 180 so here instead of 350 I'll move it to 450 within let's say two seconds and let's do the same for sword as well for the sword initial rotations are 0 0 0 and this one is minus 350 so I'll make it minus 450 right let's see
we don't see much of a change but if I make it 650 Oh yeah, now we see the difference. Okay. So yeah, with that I'm gonna stop this episode. So in the next episode I'm gonna look into how to uh, dynamically change the attacks based on the character location or based on the strategy the enemy is going to use and yeah let's see how to do that part in the next episode and thanks for watching so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club link would be in the description below and the project files will be available for the download through patreon page see you in another episode goodbye